We have a very special guest in class today at Long Island High School for the Arts, thanks to the team at Musician. Please give a warm welcome for Mr. Phil Collins. Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome to this very special master class. We have a very special guest in class today at Long Island High School for the Arts, thanks to the team at Musician. Our guest today is an extremely accomplished guitarist and musician. Um, his sound is instantly recognizable. His extensive career includes playing on hit songs and touring the world with the legendary band Def Leppard. In 2018, Mr. Collin joined Joe Satriani and John Petrucci for the G3 tour. In 2019, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with Def Leppard. We are so fortunate to welcome Phil Collin into our learning space today. I want to give a special thanks to Musician for hosting. Please give a warm welcome for Mr. Collin. Nice, thank you. <laughs> Sounds great when you say it like that. Rock and Roll of Fame, Pedrucci and Cetrian. It's very cool. Yeah. Can everyone see this guitar? Can you all see both hands and stuff? Is it all good? Yeah. Right, all good. So we were wondering, um, I think, would it be possible for you to play for us? To Absolutely, get yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Shots of bomb, baby, come and get it on. Living like a lover with a red eye phone. Looking like a tramp, like a video bam. Demolition woman, can I be your man, your man? We had some of our guitar students play for you now. Please do, yes. Absolutely. All right, so I think the first guitar student we're going to have is Dylan, and he's also going to play um, some parts of Pour Some Sugar on Me. Perfect. Okay, cool. Hi. That was awesome. Thank you. I don't know how I'm going to follow up to that, but <laughs> I'm going to give it a try. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank Very you. cool. Right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. Excellent. Can I, can I just, I'm not, not critiquing or anything, just a, as an extra little bit, especially on that, that intro lick, because it, it, it's, it's kind of hard to play. We're, Mutt Lang, our pr producer, he wrote that part, and he, you know, he plays with his fingers, and he's, he was into country playing. He, when he had that riff originally, it was like... <laughs> And I couldn't do that, you know, I couldn't even do that back then. So um, it's got all these little grace notes in it. I tried to kind of um, get like some of the stuff he was doing. So there's, 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 there's a constant, I think, like a rhythm thing going like a dick, a dick, a dick, a dick, a dick, and it's like. There's like some extra grace notes. And when you get that in there, just even a few of them here, it doesn't have to be like the whole thing, but just a few of them. It, it just takes it into another place. So, you know, it, it, this is it slowed down. So, uh, it, you know, it's kind of got this, it's, it's almost a country thing originally when, when, when he done it. And, you know, I use a metal pick and, and when I, you know, crank it up, it just sounds different. It's kind of got a bit of, you know. It's got all those little grace notes and, and you can hear them like little pickup things. So that, that would be cool to add into there as well. But you, you got it down. That's that's it. So good one. Appreciate it. No, no worries. Thank you so much, Dylan. Um, that was awesome. I feel like um, the grace notes, that's maybe what makes it instantly um, identifiable. It just sounds like you. It's one of those details. Um, as, as a feel thing, and you know, uh, again, Mutt, Mutt Lang was always in, very much into to the feel and the backbeat of it, you know, like, you know, a lot of like Motown and, and rock and roll, blues or whatever you want to, it all comes from that. It's like, there's a snare and it's like what you fill in, in in between, it makes it like really cool. You know, even if you're doing blues, if you're it's slowed right down, it, you know, like... A, not doing it, it than the guitar and, and something in there just makes the feel part of it you know kind of pick up a little bit so it's always good to do them little inflections not gratuitously but you know where you can you know you, you listen to a great funk band or something there's, there's stuff going off all the time and it's kind of nice to kind of use that as well it sounded awesome thank, thank you so you. much um chase are you ready okay so chase is gonna take it away now So again, just going back to the other thing, um, you know, on, on a lot of these songs, obviously we, we overdub in Def Leppard like crazy amounts, you know, it's kind of vocal counter melodies and everything. And we do that with guitars, but again, it's, it's never gratuitously. It's like, it's got to, um, 
you know, the vocal, that's, that's the person narrating. So you've actually got to be mindful of that. That's, that's the, the king of the song is, is actually what, what's happening with the vocal. Obviously, unless you're playing instrumental music, but even that, you know, it's kind of important. Um, on that part, you was obviously playing uh, both parts at the end, you know, there's, there's another part, you know, so, which, which goes along. And uh, again, you know, what we was talking about, Lord, the feel and the rhythm and everything helps the groove kind of move along. So you got that. And, and you, was, you was obviously doing that as well. Though. And that just comes in, I think, on the, on the second chorus out. So, so yeah, absolutely, all, all adds to it. So it, it was cool that you picked up on that as well. Good stuff, yeah. Thank you so much, Chase. Um, Thank you for let, letting me play. Really appreciate and, uh, it. Is it cool if we have one more guitarist? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, how about Evan? We all good? You start going? Yeah, go for it. Nice stuff. Do you guys, do you sing as well? I do a fair amount of singing, but I don't call myself a singer. It's, it's a tip for everyone. You, everyone should sing a little bit, even if you, you should just be singing along in, well, in, in my case, in the car or, or to, to the radio or to whatever. It's really important to be able to get that across because you, you, know, you never know. A couple of buddies of mine, it was like, you know, they wanted to get into bands and everything. One could sing and one couldn't. One just like, just open up, wide open. And it's just another, it just helps the guitar playing as well. It actually helps um, where you're coming from, what you play, where you kind of lay back and, and lay out. You know, like Chuck Berry and Prince. Prince was really great at this. You know, it'd be, everyone would have to watch him. You know, he, he would do a thing. If he did that, that meant something. That means you'd, everyone had to stop or, you know, go to the end of the song. James Brown used to do it all the time. And they're really important things. So singing is all part of that. And that's, that's actually, if you, if you sing, you automatically start doing that. You go, wow, I wish this drama would stop playing at this section, you know, because you go, and it, it teaches you to go, you know, it, it's, it works better if I lay out on this bit or I play this around the vocal. It's, it's a really important thing. So, you know, I urge everyone to, you know, to be able to sing uh, in, in front of everyone, you know, just get the confidence to do that. It, it doesn't matter. It's just you express it. So it, it's really cool. I, I, you know, I'd kind of done it when I was a kid and then just, uh, just by default, because in bands with so many vocals and that, that I ended up singing all the time. So it's, uh, yeah, re really important. I think that everyone does that because it just helps the, helps the art move forward. Uh-oh. Oh, hello. It's Jackson. Hello. Yeah, so he's two tomorrow. You're gonna say hi. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, I want to show you my little um, my workstation, my my studio, if you like. You know, I, I used to have a, a studio upstairs and, and stuff like that, and I don't anymore. I just this this works a, a, a treat, and you can you can do anything like this. It sounds amazing. So okay, <laughs> hey, um, so I'll, I'll take this. Uh, Obviously, this this Mac I'm holding now this is that's the um, that's the microphone. Where is he? He just ran out there. Oh, okay. Other way. <laughs> and you know, I just got some guitars here. I got uh, just and that that's the little amp I'm playing through, a little Black Star at the moment. Uh, when I record, I, I go straight into um, into the Mac. You know, I, I go straight into uh, that, and I use a guitar rig. So you do it like amp modeling? Yeah, so I've been doing that for years as well. You know, the last Def Leppard albums, all that. I produced um, this album for Tesla and, and all the guitars. We, we actually done that on tour. We would go... Um, you do that live? 
yeah, well, backstage, we'd go backstage, we'd find an empty room or a trailer or a bus or a hotel room. And, and we literally would do guitars. We'd go, okay, today we've got 45 minutes before someone's got a, a meet and greet or something. Uh, and we would, we'd record, and you have the same sound every single day. And as long as the guitars are, you know, tuned up and all the intonations, right, and they're, they're, they're good to go, you, that's, that's the way it goes. So much fun. Because you haven't got that limited thing. I mean, when I first started, you know, you go to studios and it was expensive. And it was such a, it took ages to get the thing going. You know, you have to mic things up and all of that. And now you just plug in. So you, you, you can actually, um, it's better for creating, I think. You, you haven't got to wait around and kind of lose the flow of that, that kind of thing. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool. That makes sense. Um, do you do that when you play live too? Or are you using an amp or are you doing like clips effects or something? Well, like yeah, I, we, we use the in-ear monitors. Obviously, we've been doing that for years. Um, on, on the, uh, actually on the G3 tour, uh, someone sent John Petrucci, or Fractal, sent him the, the Mark III. And I heard this noise coming out of his dressing room. I was like, oh my God, what is that? And he said, check this out. I plugged my guitar and I was like, I've got to get one of these. And it was the Mark III, because I'd, I'd used the, the other fractals before, but it was that one where you, you didn't need another amp, didn't need a power amp. So for live, I, I just used the fractal and two little tiny um, atomic cabinets. And they're like 500 watts each, they're, they're tiny. And we do like stadiums with them and, it, and it's blaring out. But we, we have in-ear monitors, which um, another thing I just want to tell everyone, when you start getting in, playing in clubs and, and loud noises and that. Um, you, when we start, I used to have, I thought I had tinnitus. I would be like, every, every single night. And um, it wasn't, I, I, or it was, and my ears were getting damaged. I started wearing in-ear monitors. All that went away. You could hear the vocals, the guitar sounds amazing. The band, you know, really like playing in our band. I can actually hear them. So um, it, it's really interesting. I, I think that the fact that you can, you can, do that and stop ear damage and all that stuff. And you've got this stuff that doesn't cost a fortune to cart around. That's awesome. Um, do we have any more questions? Uh, can I ask a question? Uh, yes. Sure. So this is James. Uh, hi, I'm James. Hey, James. Um, it's nice to meet you. Um, what I want to ask is, um, I'm wondering, how do you deal with being famous? And um, what's it like? So I don't feel like I'm famous at all because everything's totally normal. But this is, this is going to sound really weird. Um, when, when you're a musician, there's so many different avenues you can go down. You can be a, a playing musician. You can be a performer. You can be... There's, there's all different versions of it, you know. Um, I, the guy that plays on stage is like my avatar. That's not really who I am. You know, it's like I, I get on stage and, and he performs. He's totally confident. He it, it doesn't care if he falls over, hits a wrong note, sings the wrong words, which is every single night. And all of that stuff, it, it doesn't bother me. And I think that, um, and it's a weird way to do it, but I, I think if I nourish that avatar, that, that's how I, I go about it. So I don't really feel like I'm famous. I know the band does, does great, but no one really recognizes. I, say, I, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I walk around like I've got my shorts on, I've got my, you know what I mean? It's not like a, if you've got an entourage and everyone's wearing sunglasses and, you know, bodyguards, Armani suits and all that. It's not like that. You know, we've never really been that at all. So um, I like it. I like the fact that, that we can stay normal. We, we have one dressing room, our band, we've, we've never, Never, had, you know, unless it's, it's so tiny and they say, well, you two have got to be in there today or something. But I think it's really important to do that. We have different buses when we tour. That's a different thing, you know, you know, eating, sleeping and whatever. But dressing rooms and just keeping humble, I, I guess, you know, it's, it, it never stops being a challenge. It, it's never like really easy. Um, like, you know, we're, we've, we've, again, you know, we've been having so much fun the last few years like playing stadiums and, and whatever, you know, around the world. It's been, it's just doing this. So um, we're just uh, joyous of it. You know, we're really appreciative of it. And I think that that's the way to go. It, it hasn't really changed us. You know, we're still very much the same. So um, it depends on who you ask. Because I do know some people that they're not like that. And uh, 
And they, have, they don't have a happy existence as we do. I mean, all the guys, you know, Joe Elliott can make me laugh till I cry. I mean, honestly, still to this day. And we, we all have this, this great kind of camaraderie and, and it's a family, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it, it's really important to, to, to be normal. And, and like I said, there's a lot of people out there who are funny and egotistical or whatever. And for whatever reasons, and it's not, it's, it's all a, a learning curve. And yeah, you just gotta, gotta be you. Thank you. So Phil, I know you wanted to share something that you're gonna um, send along to everyone. Absolutely. So all you guys, um, we're gonna send a signed t-shirt. So some Def Leppard stuff on its way to you guys. So, and, and I, musician, thank you guys. This is, this is amazing. I, I, I love this. This was a lot of fun. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy it. It's a great idea. It's a, it's a great thing to do. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Phil, and thank you to Mark and the class. If everyone wants to unmute and say thank you and goodbye to Phil, we really appreciate all of your time. This is really fun. Thank I'm you. I'm back. Have by a the way. good day, Thanks Phil. Thanks so much. Thanks a lot thank you. Thank you. So, so much, Phil. Really so much. It, man. Yeah, really good. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Phil. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.